Hello friends. Relationships are hard. And to be quite honest with you, Evidentia didn't get it quite right the first couple of Hello, versions. I guess I need to mute that. There we go. So in this episode of Evidentia Answers, we're going to explore the world of parent-child relationships, spousal relationships, and other relationships you may want to capture in Evidentia. So stick around and we'll answer your questions. Hello, my name is Ed Thompson and I'm the designer of Evidentia. And what I want to do to, in today's episode of Evidentia Answers is look at the question of how Evidentia handles relationships. In the first couple of versions of Evidentia, relationships were messy. Uh, it was very difficult to capture and there was a lot of repetitive work. If you had a, a parent and a child, uh, each parent had to be, you had to link the parent to the child and you had to link the child to the parent. In Evidentia 3, we took care of all that and we have a much more robust relationship system for capturing marriages, spousal events, birthing events, etc. And I want to show you how that's done today. So let me go over to my, um, let's see. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to switch over to a demo. If you'll bear with me for just one second. And here you should be seeing the Evidentia screen. This is my own personal. Uh, it doesn't look like you're it's capturing it. Hold on one second. Pay no attention to the man behind the screen. All right, let's uh, let me adjust what I'm capturing here. Uh, uh, am I? Oh, there we go. Okay, it looks like we're uh, we're we're good to go now. So, in this evidentia screen. You can see that uh, I'm looking at the uh, a, a Massachusetts birth record that I downloaded off of Ancestry.com. And in that birth record, uh, I was able to capture the birth of my great-grandmother, Hitty Francis Brooks, who was born July 26, 1887, to William H. and Hattie H., in Abington, Massachusetts. Now, I put the uh, William H. Brooks, I put the Brooks part in brackets to indicate that the record did not show that, but that that's the um, William H. that I believe it's referring to, and the same with uh, Hattie Hunt Nash. Although, it looks like I was real inconsistent in terms of using my brackets and my... Um, that. Yeah, you know what I mean. Okay, so what I want to be able to do, obviously, is this shows uh, multiple relationships. This shows a relationship between Hattie and her father, a relationship between Hattie and her mother, uh, and a relationship the other way around as well. So let's open up the uh, tag claim screen. And I'm going to select the claim type first. And the claim type I want to select is child. Now, to make things simple, Evidentia look, looks at everything from the perspective of the child. So if you're trying to make this kind of connection and you're looking for parent, for instance, in the drop-down list, um, you, won't, you won't find it. Let me delete this for a second here and show you uh, that there is no parent. Um, listed in the claims list and, and and that's just it's really to simplify it think of everything from the child's perspective so I'm going to select child again and I can select not just one parent but I can select two parents so on the top I'm going to select the main parent uh, not that there is a main parent but um, uh, this is the one that will just show up first in a lot of reports and actually it doesn't matter uh, as you'll see in a moment. So let me look for William H. Brooks. There we go. All right, so now I've got 
uh, a potential um, claim tag here. But I do know the mother, uh, and we saw that in, as Hattie Hunt Nash. So let me, uh, can't be a lot of Hatties in my database. And there I've got, and notice that there's, um, where gender is known, I use the traditional blue and pink, okay? So, so far I've not done anything. I can change uh, whatever I want to here. I'm going to go over here and click Add Tags. And you'll see that, uh, oh, well, that didn't work quite well at all. I wonder if I, I chose the wrong uh, person. I did this wrong. Hold on one second. Let me delete that. And let me choose child again. And I can only select one parent. And that is going to be William Brooks. And then I select the child. And that is going to be Hitty. And uh, Hitty Francis Brooks. That's my great grandmother. We called her Graham. Now I want to add the tag you'll see that it, we've just captured the relationship between Hitty and her father. So in order to capture the relationship between Hitty and her mother, I basically just do the same thing again. And this time I select Hattie. And I select uh, Hitty again. All right, and I add that tag. And you see here that now I have the, the two relationships. And when I select Done, those two relationships show up in the box. Now, why two steps? Why not just do the relationship between the three? Uh, and that's multiple reasons. Um, but the bottom line was when we first came out with this feature, we talked to the community, the community of users of Evidentia at the time, and we discuss, do we want to try and prove each parent-child relationship separately, or do we want to prove the, the three-part relationship? And the consensus was pretty strong that we need to be able to prove each relationship separately, although frequently the evidence for both of those uh, two A relationships will um, be the same. Now, one thing that I want to note here is, and, and I'm not going to pull it up this time, but if I pull up a report that references this claim, well, actually, maybe I, I will. Uh, let me go over to Analyze Evidence. And for Hitty Francis Brooks, I'm going to select uh, that she was a child of William H. And you see here, proof that Hitty Francis Brooks is the child of William H. However, if I go over here and select William, You'll see that my choice is uh, that William was a parent of Hitty Francis Brooks. And this proof is from the perspective of uh, William instead of from the perspective of Hitty. Now, this is where it's highly improved from version one and version two. You don't have to do the proof twice. It will retitle the proof based on who you select but there's really going to only be one proof in the system, and that's proof of the relationship itself. So, um, that, like I said, that's a uh, big improvement over what we used to have, and um, I, I was almost embarrassed about the old way of doing it. But, um, uh, so let's go back. Um, oh, I am on the wrong screen. There we go. All right. So the next thing that I want to do is uh, talk about spousal relationships. So relationship between a husband and wife. And, and the first thing to know, and this was also very difficult in the earlier versions, is a person can have more than one spousal relationship. And this um, system accounts for that possibility by allowing you to tag each one separately. And I'll show you what I mean here. So first I want to select the... Um, 1910 U.S. Census for uh, Abington. And I'm going to select my great-grandfather, Frank Verling. And one of the things this record claims, and I don't remember where I got this particular record, probably from Ancestry. What this record claims is that as of the enumeration date, 
Hitty F. Thompson was the wife of Francis Verling Thompson. So how do we tag that? Um, so let's click on the tags and the claim type here. Now you might think marriage at first and it wouldn't be wrong, but, re but remember that a marriage is an event. Okay, that, that, that is something that occurs uh, between two people at a point in time. So in order to uh, account for spousal relationships, uh, w whether they're common law or whether there was a marriage event or whether at any given point in time, we don't know, but there, um, the proof is at least that they're in some sort of spousal relationship, uh, we have a tag type called spousal relationship. Uh, and that's the reason for the difference. So <clears throat> here I can input both spouses. And if I don't know who the spouse was, I can select unknown. So I'm going to select uh, my great grandfather, Frank. And he was the senior. And I'm going to select my great grandmother, Graham Hitty. And I'll do add tags. Boom. And there I have the spousal relationship. Now, if I want to, if this also was for a marriage event, then I would go in here and click uh, marriage event. And I'm going to do that here for, for just a moment. And again, I'm going to choose Frank. And I'm going to choose Hitty. And I'm going to remember to add the tag, boom. And now I've got two tags for um, this type of event. All right, now, how does Evidentia know whether a claim type is for a single individual or a marriage or, or a, a couple, excuse me, or a parent-child relationship? And to answer that, I need to go to the list manager. So we'll go to the list manager and we'll select claim types. And you'll see here that they're in the claim types. Now here I haven't selected one. You'll see that there's a person claim type mode, a couple relationship mode, and you'll see why we call it that in a moment. And then a parent child relationship, which is a, a special kind of relationship. So if I select uh, baptism, okay, you'll see that I'm going to, rec I'm typically recording the baptism of a person. And the mode is person, and Evidentia knows just to provide you the one field for the name. If instead I select child, you'll see here that the um, mode is parent-child relationship. Now, I mentioned before that Evidentia is smart enough that if you look at a report or screen from the perspective of the child, it will tag it as, you know, that, that um, so-and-so is a child of. Um, how does it know what word to use when you reverse it? And the answer is right here under reverse label. So when you choose the person on the other side of that relationship, it'll say parent of. And that's how it knows. Now, there's little use for other um, parent-child type relationships, although one may, might, you might want to handle um, adoptions differently, fostering differently, and you could create your own claim type here with a parent-child mode. And for that, you would, you would, you know, maybe let me see if I did that actually. So adopted child yes I did so here I've got the adopted child and the adoptive parent so there are different kinds of parent child relationships supported in Evidentia and you can add your own all right so what about um, spousal relationships let's see spousal or marriage we'll, we'll just look at marriage and you'll see here that it's a couple relationship and since the relationship is the same, whether it's husband to wife or wife to husband, um, the uh, claim type doesn't need a, uh, you know, what do, what do I do when I reverse them? So um, 
spousal relationship is, is the same way. So I can choose spousal relationship there, and you see that the couple relationship mode is selected. And that's how it knows that um, I'm, I'm going to create a uh, tag that includes two people. Now the reason it says couple relationship is that a husband and wife or domestic partner relationship are, are not the only kinds of relationships you may want to capture. Another type of relationship you want to, may want to capture, and this was added a while back because on request of other users, is this, you may want to capture siblings relationship. And you'll, you'll see here that um, sibling is, a, uh, is also defined as a couple relationship. Now, you know, are, are they brother and sister? Are they, you know, stepbrother, stepsister? Uh, all the claim type is going to say is, is their siblings. And if you want to differentiate that, you would do that in the analysis later on. But this will at least capture uh, that kind of, um, of relationship. Um, so if you think of other relationship types that you may want to capture, um, uh, what would be one? I, I, you know, I, I, I use this as an example. It's a little bit funny, but you can actually use this for tracking property. Uh, you could have a relationship between a house and a homeowner. Um, and, uh, you know, want to prove that for uh, some reason. So you could create a, well, that a couple relationship um, there. That one is, implies ownership, though. So I would probably use parent-child relationship for that one. Uh, so I would, I would select parent-child and then the claim type, do it from the uh, child side. So the child would be the house um, and the parent would be the homeowner. So you could... You can be creative with some of the claim types that you may want to capture in your research. I don't want to change this, so I'm going to move on. Uh, quick um, uh, note on some of these other fields. If in the proof for a JEDCOM file, for instance, um, you you know this siblings is a relationship, so you know you can provide a value. It doesn't. There is no place. There is no date. But as you're adding claim types, if you want to collect places and dates, etc. You can do that by uh, selecting the boxes. All right, so that is, let me check to see if we have any questions first. Uh, and it looks like I'm not seeing any questions in the chat. Uh, come back and check that in just a moment. Um, let me go back to, uh, yeah. So, Evidence you can handle relationships now. Yay. And this is how. This particular video um, I'll be using, you know, I'll be putting out on YouTube. And uh, there's some missing tutorial videos that this will take the place of related to entering and tagging claims for parent child relationships. And I'll put notes on that on the website. The website, as you know, is evidentiasoftware.com. If you ever have any questions, you can reach out to me at ed at evidentiasoftware.com. And this was last week we did uh, our first episode of Evidentia Answers as a YouTube live video. Uh, in this particular uh, instance, we're trying it out. I, I, we did it as a Facebook live video, excuse me. Now we're trying it out as a YouTube live video. And I'll be doing some comparisons uh, both with the quality and the ease of use on these before I pin it down. But as of today, uh, I'm committing to doing this weekly. Uh, Evidentia Answers will, uh, is on the um, Genia webinar calendar on, at Tuesdays, 4 p.m. Eastern Time. I haven't put a closing date. I think these will run about 30 minutes, depending on the questions that uh, come up. And um, I'm here to answer your questions. So if you have questions, you can contact me or you can enter in our Facebook look, book community, um, Evidentia Software Users Group. And I will try to answer it in the group, but some of these are going to be excellent candidates for 
this kind of live presentation and demonstration. So because of that, I haven't decided on what next week's topic is, but once it's uh, scheduled, you'll be able to see. And I hope to see you all next week. Have a good day.